Hello crochet friends and welcome back. We're going to start a new project today. We're going to make a jar cover for a pint size jar and it's going to be like candy corn. So it's going to start out with the yellow and then go to the orange and the white um, just to be cute and decorative for fall and it's just so nice to have the jars that you can fill and give away as gifts and things. So I think this is cute. I think this will be fun. So I've got a yellow and orange and a white yarn, all acrylic size four yarns and an H five millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to get ourselves started with a magic circle. So we're going to take our yarn and we're going to go over our hand and we're going to cross and go over again. Then we're going to take our hook and go under the first strand, grabbing the second. Pull it through and twist. Give that a little chain one to hold it in place. Yarn over and pull through. Now, that's the first time you've done a magic circle. You probably just thought I spoke a different language. It is a little crazy and wild. I will put a link down below for a video that just does the magic circle so you can practice it. Some people call it the magic loop or the magic circle. Um, that you can just practice it if you're if that was just a little too much. I don't want you to be intimidated. Just we have plenty of ways to learn these things and you can do this project. I promise. So we want to now single crochet inside this magic circle, eight single crochets. So we're going to enter our circle, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. That's one. Enter your circle again, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. There's two. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. That's stitch three. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. That's four. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. There's five. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. That's six. Oh, we're almost there. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. There's seven. One more. One more single crochet. Okay, now just make sure you have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And you can take that tail, give it a little pull, still holding your work over here, and that'll start to close up your circle. Now you don't have to make it super tight yet because when you make it tight, it makes it harder to see your stitches. So just, you know, pull it together so your circle comes together a little bit, but don't make it too crazy tight because then you just won't be able to see what we're doing. So we have stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So this is our first stitch right here of our next round when we go on to round two. So, but we're gonna put a little marker here, right here at the end of round one. That way we know where the beginning of our work is. So let's start round two, okay? So we're going to go into that stitch. That was the first single crochet we made. So we're gonna enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two for the first single crochet of round two. Now we need to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So we're gonna go right back in that same stitch Enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So there's two. We're going to go into the next stitch. Enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. There's your first single crochet. Go right back in that same stitch for your second single crochet. Okay? And now we're going to go in the next one. First single crochet and go right back in, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. There's your second single crochet. The stitch stretches with you, so don't feel like you can't get 
you know, more than one stitch in there. This is our next one. That's our first single crochet. Enter again, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two for your second single crochet. Now, you may have been counting as you're going along. So we know we have two, four, six, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. But our marker helps us see to know how many we have. So we know we need 16 by the time we're done. So we're halfway. So next stitch, two single crochet. One, go right back in, two. So now we have 10. Next stitch, two single crochet, one and two. That makes 12. Next stitch, two single crochet. So this will be 13 and one more, 14. And then we have this nice little stitch right here, 15 and 16. Beautiful. Okay, now take that little marker and you move it up right here at the end of round two. Now you can take the tail and pull your circle nice and tight. See how it closes it up and your work looks more like a circle, right? Here, I could take that out. So it looks more like a circle for you. So if when you do a magic circle or even the chain and making a circle with that, if your circle in the very center doesn't stay closed, that little spot, you can always take your tail and sew it around and keep it closed up. If you don't like sometimes see how you can see a little bit of a hole there. If you don't like that, that's okay. You can sew that in there. So just throwing that out there in case anybody, so, you know, we all like things differently. So I don't want anyone to be upset, but I have a, a hole in the middle. It's okay. So if you want to sew that, go right ahead, you know, just get your yarn needle and sew around in there. But that's the end of round two. We have 16 stitches on our work and I'll see you next time. We'll start with round three. Thank you and have a joyful day.